after over five years in jail. Nazanin Zagari Radcliffe and Anoushe Ashuri are back on British soil. The pair touched down at an Oxfordshire military base late Wednesday night. I've met the families, uh, they're safe and well. Uh, people are in very, very good spirits. I think it's been a really difficult 48 hours. The expectation uh, that they would be uh, released, but we weren't sure and right until the last minute. So it's been, it's been very emotional, but also a really happy moment for the families. The British government announced their release earlier in the day, with Iranian media stating that the UK had settled a £400 million or £470,000 euro debt dating back to the Shah. Britain, however, has avoided linking the pre-Islamic revolution arrears to their detention. So Gary Radcliffe was arrested at Tehran airport with her daughter back in 2016 and accused of plotting to overthrow the Iranian government, while Ashouri was jailed for spying for Israel. Both of them deny the accusations and their families say that they were being used as bargaining chips between Iran and the UK amid heightened international tensions. They continually pressured for their release. Nazanin Zagari Radcliffe's husband Richard went on a three-week hunger strike. Well, I suppose that we can stop being a moment in history and start being a normal family again. Um, yeah, it, it's been a long time. It's been a long journey that people have been keeping us um, following it on the news, on petitions with the government. Um, I've said some rough things over the years, um, but in the end, she's coming home. The government confirmed a third dual national, Murad Tabaz, has also been released. He hasn't returned to the UK, but they say they're working to bring him home.